I think there's going to be increasing pressures in the future, and it's already being felt right now. There's increasing pressures on groundwater. We have states outside of Nebraska that are suing for water. Um, we have uses within the state that are competing, whether they're environmental uses in the rainwater basin or around the state. Um, there's endangered species that we're trying to protect with, uh, with some of the water. And there's growing population, and growing population means more water use in the cities. So there's, there's definitely a growth in competing interests for water. And, uh, and I think that that's something that water monitoring is going to help us to resolve. Uh, if you know how much water is available for use, it makes it a lot easier to decide how much each, each, uh, each user gets. If you don't know how much water is available, it, it makes it very easy to misallocate the, amount of the, the water to the users. Uh, if agriculture is one of the biggest contributors to our economy, and we're not doing a good job of water monitoring, we might be wasting a lot of water, and we could be using it for, to improve our economy. Um, also, just because they're not involved in agriculture doesn't mean they use don't use water. Many people, everybody uses water, and we use it for uh, our lawns, we use it for consumption. Uh, Almost everything we purchase from the store and that, that's produced uses some amount of water. And of course, even if, uh, even if we weren't using the water, having it around us, if it's unhealthy water, is going to affect our, our own health. Just being around water that's contaminated is, uh, is not healthy. So there's a lot of reasons, health probably being one of the biggest. Some of the earliest engineering goals that, that um, the university has had has been related to water and certainly right now there's a big emphasis on water and there, there probably always will be just because it's so important to the state for agricultural purposes and for human consumption. So uh, UNL has placed a big emphasis on water. We have a lot of experts in the area. There's experts in the area of groundwater, hydrology, hydraulics. Uh, in terms of flow monitoring, all of these areas are important. Knowing how much flow is how much flow is available underground, knowing how much flow is in the streams, knowing how much is evaporating. There's scientists all across the university that are studying these issues, and uh, and there's some very good scientists that are that are working here.